It's been a pretty routine flight so far. When are we due to reach Earth, Captain? In 42 days' time. Colonel Rayburn asked me to orbit Saturn and see if anything strange is going on. Saturn's coming up on the video screen now. Mmm, it looks good enough to eat. You are always thinking of your stomach. Those rings around Saturn, what are they made of? Pieces of rock. No galaxy has been able to get through them. Hey, Dad, there's something odd on the screen. It might be a meteorite. Change course, Slim, and we'll take a closer look. Course altered 10 degrees. This thing's altered its course, too. Then it can't be a meteorite. It must be a spacecraft. Never seen one like it before. I'll try and contact them. Galosphere 347 calling spaceship. We are members of Space Patrol. Please identify yourselves. I can't make anything of that. Use the electron. An electronic translator can only work when the decoding computer has translated the language. Meanwhile, this thing's coming nearer. Husky, change our course and keep on their tail. Right, Captain. Slow our speed to theirs, Slim. Very good, Captain. We'll level with them now. Can you make out any identification markings? There aren't any. I'm going over to pay them a call. They might be dangerous. I'll take a chance on it. Come and see me off, Slim. Everybody gets the excitement except me. Join Space Patrol and see our galaxy. I'd see more of it if I stayed on Mars and looked at television. Give me three seconds to adjust my helmet and then release the outer vacuum door. Have you got your ion gun? Yes. One, two, three. beginning to feel anxiety for Dart's safety. So am I. Let's try and contact him. Galastia 347, calling Captain Dart. He's not replying. What's that? Calling Galastia 347. Come in, please. Captain Dart, are you all right? I'm fine. Where does the spaceship come from? Saturn. Saturn? That's right. And what's more, They've offered to take me down to their planet. Excellent. I have always wanted to see Saturn. Sorry, Slim, not this trip. They won't let us take the Gallosphere through the rings. They're only taking me. I have great anxiety lest they keep you there. Don't worry. They're quite friendly. Keep orbiting till I get back. <laughs> Colonel Rayburn? Has Gallosphere 347 landed yet? Yes, Colonel. 
Captain Dart and his crew are already in contamination control. Tell Dart to come and see me immediately. He's been cleared. We've no time to waste. Very good, sir. That's quite a story, Dart. So you're the first man to set foot on Saturn. What are they like? Very friendly. I recorded their language and passed it over to our decoding officer. Good. Once we can talk to them, we can persuade them to join the United Galactic Organization. Then we can exchange knowledge. They can certainly teach us a few things. They're so advanced, they use the rings around their planet as a barrier. How? Well, each ring gives out a different radiation. We'll never be able to land there without their permission. Yes? The Saturnian speech has been decoded and placed in the Electran. Now we can talk to them. They want to talk to you. Radio controls say signals are coming in from Saturn. I'll go to the radio room at once. Come with me, Dart. Are the signals still coming in? Yes, listen. What a din. Has it been translated yet? Yes, Colonel. The Saturnians say they'll never let anyone land on their planet again. Why? Because Captain Dart took away something of great religious value. Dart? What is all this? I don't know. I only took some leaves. I brought them back for you as a souvenir. They were not ordinary leaves. They were from a tree which the Saturnians regard as holy. Holy smoke! A holy tree, and you had to take leaves from it. What are you, a gardener? I'm sorry, Colonel. I should think so. Now we've got the job of trying to make peace with them. Oh. Can I do anything? You've done too much already. Report back tomorrow. So those are the leaves that caused the trouble. I feel badly about this, sir, and I'd like a chance to put things right. Impossible. The Saturnians have broken off all contact with us. Let me take the leaves back. They won't let you through the rings. I've been through them once before. Mm, that was in the Saturnian ship. We've already lost one Gallosphere that tried to get through. Please, Colonel, let me try. It's important for us to be on good terms with the Saturnians. Mm, very well. But make sure your crew want to go with you. You're on a suicide job. My crew have already agreed, sir. I never thought I'd be going through contamination control so soon. You can stay behind if you want to, Husky. And amidst all the excitement? No, Captain. Come on, Husky. It's our turn next. You check off first, Slim. Galaxia 024 calling central control. Closing inner vacuum door. Central control to Galaxia 024. Inner vacuum door not closed. Primary drive functioning. Check. Orbital drive on. Check. Interplanetary overdrive on. Everything's ready, Captain. Fine. Husky? Orbital speed zero to 20,000 miles an hour. Speed maintained. Scan of you are working. Check. Astro beam working. Check. Gamma rays on. Yoba rays on. All in order, Captain. I'm ready. Thanks. Galosphere 024 to central control. Ready for final check. Automatic course control on. Check. Gravity freezing cabin, on. Check. Mesen power, on. All in order. Ready to lift. Takeoff program starting now. Speed maintained. We'll reach 66,000 miles per hour in four and a half minutes. How long will it take us to reach Saturn? 44 days. That means we go into the freezer? Yes. Galosphere 347 calling control. We're going into the freezer. 
will set automatic time control to operate for 44 days. controls off. I'll check to see how long we've been in the freezer. I wonder if the Saturnians know we're coming. We'll soon find out. It's all right, we're nearing Saturn. It's on the scanner now. How far are we from the first ring, Husky? 3,000 miles. Why not change course and approach underneath the rings? It wouldn't help. Their radiation forms a barrier around the whole planet. First ring coming up. I'll say it is. Most of my instruments are dead. Mine too. Well, we know what the first ring is. Some kind of magnetic field which affects electrical instruments. If the other three rings are no worse, I will be delighted. Save your delight for later. We're through the second ring. That's a relief. How far ahead is the third one? A thousand miles. That gives us five seconds. It's bright in here. And getting brighter. The third ring must be giving out strong ultraviolet rays. Switch to robot control, Captain, before you lose your sight. Where's the switch? I can't see it. Everything's a bright blue haze. We must put our goggles on. I've got to switch on robot control first. It will crash into the planet. Where's that switch? No, that's not it. Let me find it. You put your goggles on. No. Stay in front of your own controls. Ah, here it is. That should slow us down. Quick, Captain. Put on your goggles or you will be permanently blind. I still can't see. Close your eyes and rest. All right. The light is decreasing. I am beginning to see properly again. So am I. We've passed the third ring. How are your eyes, Captain? Much better. I wonder what the Saturnians have got in store for us on the last ring. We'll soon find out. Sure. It's getting warm. Check temperature control, Slim. It's 98 degrees. I think the fourth ring is giving out infrared rays. I don't feel so good. How hot is it now? 105 degrees. It's not so bad for me. We Venusians are used to heat. Martians are not. If it gets hotter, I'll die. Temperature? Now 115 degrees. Even I feel ill. We'll go into the freezer. Even if it isn't working properly, it'll still be cooler than here. Come on, Husky. I can't. Leave me. Don't be ridiculous. Come on or I'll carry you. I... I can't breathe. Lean on me. You'll be better in a minute. It's no good, Captain. Uh, the freezer isn't working. There's no vapor. I know, but at least it's cooler. We should be past the ring in another few seconds. There, the temperature's going down. We've beaten the rings. Come on, we must go into orbit and prepare for landing. <laughs> Our transmitters are working again. The Saturnians are sending us a message. I'll dial the electron onto the code. V, J, 
M, S for Saturn. You are the first alien craft to penetrate our rings. And now you have landed, you will never be allowed to leave again. I better tell him who we are. I'm Captain Dart. I've come to return the leaves from your holy tree and to offer my apologies. That surprised them. They have gone up the air. Maybe they're going to attack us. Listen. It was wrong to land here without permission. You must suffer for it. But we couldn't get permission. You broke off radio contact with Earth. Then you should have stayed away. Now you must all pay the penalty. My crew had nothing to do with this. It's no good. I can't make them understand. Prepare for takeoff. The leapers will not move. Neither will mine. Mine are dead, too. The Saturnians have put us out of action. Captain, the vacuum door's opening. Put your space helmets on. This looks like trouble. Husky, where are you going? I do not know. I am being pulled. Come back. I can't. Where are you off to? I feel impelled to follow. Try and fight it. If they're hypnotizing you, there must be a way to... It is not hypnosis. My feet are being pulled by a magnet. Slim, come back. Oh, it's happening to me. Slim, where are you? should never have sent Dart to Saturn. I'm sure he won't leave that planet alive. Uh, Marla, uh, I'd like to talk to the Colonel. He is on his way to see you. Thanks. Well, Colonel, what's the news of Dart? There's none at all, I'm afraid. I tried to call him on the sonar beam, but I couldn't get him. That means he must have got through the rings. It might mean he's dead. No one's got through those rings. I'm certain Dart has. He's clever and brave. Well, even if he did get through them, I don't think he'll ever get back. The Saturnians will keep him there. You've no reason for saying that. I've every reason. Those creatures are angry because he took their leaves. And they'll be even angrier if he manages to get through the rings. Hmm. You might be right. Naturally, I'm right. You should have asked my opinion before you sent him. In the olden days, a colonel could never have done anything like that without asking a general first. These aren't the olden days, General. The rank of a colonel in space patrol is equal to the rank of a general in any of the armed forces. That still doesn't mean you can't take advice. And sometimes it's better to play safe. Safety has never been an important word in space patrol. My men live with danger. Well, Dart's certainly living with it now. And I only hope he'll go on living. I thought I'd lost you. We are under the control of the Saturnians. They have magnetized the metal in our shoes. I wonder what's cooking. I hope it won't be us. Captain, I am being impelled to move again. So am I. That makes three of us. Ground's giving way. I'm sinking. It's all right. We're on a moving platform. I did this when I came here before. Where are we? On our way to see the Saturnian leader. All their homes are underground. My apprehension is considerable. Watch that. Where? Oh, 
that would frighten a vampire. Shh, we're in enough trouble without hurting his feelings anymore. I know you're angry because I took the leaves, but I beg you to allow my crew to return to Earth. Well spoken, Captain Dodd. How does that work? On a system of micro dots. Can you make one for me? If you become a member of the United Galactic Organization, you will learn all our knowledge. I will be glad to join. When you return to Earth, you may tell your leader so. You mean you're going to let us go? Of course. I only wanted to give you a little fright. What a sense of humor. And what a time to take a bath. The Saturnians are amphibious, like crocodiles. Now that peace is made between us, I hope you will stay here as my guests. What is wrong? I am not used to such heavy gravity. You are not as well made as we are. We have a limb to rest on. See? Most convenient. It's like having a built-in chair. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse my coughing. <coughs> I'm afraid we're not equipped to stay here much longer, sir. I understand. I will arrange for one of my craft to fly ahead of you and clear a path through the magnetic fields. Thank you. Oh, I nearly forgot what I came for. To return the leaves. Keep them as a gift. If you had asked me for some when you were here, I would gladly have given them to you. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be, uh, uh, thanks. That should teach you one thing for the future, Captain. Never take anything without asking. <laughs> 